Hello, welcome back to my workshop. Well, I'm just going to do, because I, I got asked to do this in uh, a, a little bit, perhaps more clearly, uh, another quick video on washing machine motor controls. So basically, um, I do have a couple of these. They look roughly the same. Um, on the back you have this taco, which will generate a pulse. You have two wires going in. Um, you have brushes there which also come out to here and then you have in here you basically have some field calls you have two of those okay so what you end up with here is a series of connections you can see these two wires here um, going at the top that's a taco the next three wires disappear see one two there and the third there actually there's more than that because they all disappear that that also disappears in there they disappear into the field coils actually that one there which is blue wire goes straight across for some reason or other that goes in and then out to there but these three wires here go into the field coils and you end up being connected like something like that. So you have a taco up that end, you have the three field coils, and then you have the commutator, which uh, puts a voltage across the armature. Now you can test these out with the handy multimeter. Just spin that round so you can see which wires I'm on. We'll switch this one to ohms. <coughs> then we can run through and test the if I can untangle my leads. See there if I go across the top two, we've got about uh, 113 ohms. If I go across there, that's the top of the field coil. You can see we're about two ohms. If I go to the bottom of the field coil, you can see we've got two and a half. And if I go from the middle to the bottom, you can see I've got just about the same 1.8 ohms. And then across the armature, I've got about four ohms. Now, the way you connect this up is quite straightforward. You can connect it up either DC or AC. <coughs> it doesn't really care, but you need power, the power to the field coils and you need power to the armature. So again, if you refer to this, you can see that these three are all connected together via the field coils. Um, you can actually short from that field coil there and you can either choose to go on the next one down which is the top of the armature and then what we can do and I'm going to use my speed controller it doesn't matter which way round you put the mains it will spin the same way it's a relationship between the field calls and the armature that matters. So I'm going to put that neutral at the top. And alive at the bottom. Oh, something by the way. I always put, when I'm putting these together, put the crimp on and then I have an insulated boot. And I'm going to connect the earth. These motors are metal cased. They should always be earthed. So we now have that connected up, and I'll come to the wiring on that. I'm going to, going to plug it in. Right. So you can see, hopefully, that it's spinning. Let me just make that slightly clearer. The purple sharpie. I'm just going to put a dot on there. And 
you can see that it's spinning anti-clockwise. So that's it. So you have the mains across the commutator through the commutator into the field coil. Oops, actually, I just realised something here. Got that connected on the wrong one. So I only had one field coil energised. Right, let's try that again. There we go. You can see that's running clockwise. A very low power. And that's the full speed. So if I want to reverse this motor, what I'll do is I'll take the take these off and I'll just wire this slightly differently. I'm going to take that off the bottom of the going from the bottom of the field coil to the top commutator connector and I'm going to put that on the bottom there. We'll wire this up exactly the same way, so neutral into the field coil live down to the other end of the commutator that's not connected to the field coil and then try and get that in on the earth and let's just try that again And you can see that they're just rotating clockwise. So that covers how to reverse it, but just again, it is important that you have these things earthed. Just stop that. It is important you have these things earthed. It's also just that you have to just go across the field coil. Let me unplug that. Go across the full field coil, and then you go from the field coil to the commutator. And depending on which way around you want it to go, you connect it appropriately. The one thing I would say is 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 that um, if this is rotating, let's see, clockwise. You'll see the brushes, the way the brushes are angled, they're angled like that. I think there's a preferred way that it normally likes to run, but they're obviously built to be reversible. So I hope that helps uh, to the subscriber who had uh, wanted a bit more questions. Um, going back, um, we are connecting mains. If you are going to put in one of these, you do want to put this in an insulated box. This is only just for demonstration purposes. And on these here, I really should put some heat shrink on that. That's dangerous, so this is silly me. Right, so on these, if you have a look, that one is connected. You can see there's live neutral, live neutral on this one. And it is in fact marked in there which way round they are. But this will vary depending on the circuit board you use. Right, hope that helps. Please like, please share, subscribe and thank you very much for watching.